Hola, bienvenidos. What's up, everybody? Today we have a hell of a rain day, but uh, we can't we can't sit at home and do nothing today. We have an, uh, an AC that got, got called in. Unfortunately, even though it's like high 60s, 70, it's not super cold or anything. It's just raining. Um, they still need AC down here, so I, I'm gonna try and check that. Hopefully, this is not a crazy uh, storm with a lot of wind or anything. If it's just a little rain, we'll get through it. And then I got a walk-in freezer to go check that's struggling to drop. They refuse to get the door fixed. I keep telling them you're getting a lot of uh, heat, humidity in there, but I think something else is wrong with it. Uh, one of our guys went and replaced a motor or something on it, so there, there was issues with it. Uh, so I was supposed to go by and check that too. A freezer is a freezer, right? That, that needs to work no matter what the weather is. So we're, we'll go check that. The only bad thing is it's it's not hot out, like 100 degrees, 90 degrees. So not a good stress test today to see if it can keep up. But it should be working flawlessly today considering the weather. So let's go uh, let's go see what we can do, see if I can film anything. Um, it might be a little bit difficult today, but we'll see. Okay, we just got here. I was gonna say because um, when I, driving over here, it's like a 20 minute drive. So I went through quite a bit of rain, light drizzle, heavy rain. Getting here, it uh, looks like just drizzle. So we'll try and get this, this checked out, looked at everything. Uh, but I was gonna say since um, it, it's one of these that's in town, both calls are in town today with, with what I would consider in town is like a 20 minute uh, radius if it was raining really hard or if it picks up i at least wanted to come in and, and check on them uh ask them what's wrong with it because this customer just sends a text hey come here and check this they don't really tell us what's wrong with it they don't have to fill out a form like our other customer but i at least wanted to come over here and talk to them make sure that that you know they know we're coming to check it if it rains really hard then i'll tell them i'll come back you know like after the the next call I'll swing back around if it's something that needs quite a bit of repairs and it's raining and, and windy and, and I don't want water all in the unit, you know. Uh, this weather's a little weird for us. I guess this is like a cold front going through. A uh, storm kind of stopped right above us. We don't usually get this kind of, of rain in March. Our worst months are January, February, which were pretty dry. And then March is usually not that bad. And then April, at the end of April is when it picks up again, uh, as far as like rain and stuff. But uh, this is really random, but we still need AC. We're gonna go in there. And like I said, I was just gonna come in at least to talk to them and check with them and see if it's something simple or, or if I have to come back. Cause um, trying to be really good about communication with the customer this year. Um, I'm not the best at that. I'm not the most personable. Um, I'm trying to be. But uh, we have a lot of guys trying to get into our, our customers. Uh, a lot of other, other companies trying to come in. So I need to make sure that we uh, keep our customer happy. The communication is there. They don't have a reason to call anybody else. So we've been dealing with a lot of uh, competition this past year, I would say, to where like this one, it is multiple companies that can come out. There is a list. I thought we got knocked down the list we're back up on the list so like i just want to make sure that they're they're cool with uh calling us first and getting us the work uh, you know because we all need we all need uh work and money so that's how that's how life works so just want to make sure that they're cool i've i've reached out to several customers to make sure that you know the communication is there and um yeah just a lot of competition lately a lot of uh buddies a lot of uh you know, I got a buddy that has a company. I got a buddy that does this or that. And that's who they call, even though it's not the best work. I always pride myself on, on the best work that I can do, but you can not control um, if they feel better with, with a friend of theirs or it's cheaper, or, you know, all this stuff. So I'm just trying to, trying to make sure that they're comfortable with us going forward and uh, trying to be better about that this year.
the other ones are satisfied this one's the only one running because it's for the kitchen but we're doing really good um, on temp I don't see anything standing out I need to get a cap for this I know all right so I tried asking the workers uh, they complain that everything's hot except for one area which is a dining they're, they're gonna say the kitchen's hot the back's hot like I and I get it uh, this one over here well this one that I'm on right now is the dining satisfied as well the only one running is that kitchen one and that one um, we're running in the 40s the, the, the lady here didn't know about any call so I just talked to them I talked to the the people like I said that work that work here to get a, a to investigate a little bit and then um, they also mentioned a water leak I need to get a cap for that that drain line that's the only issue with that one because um, it's backed up before but we don't have anything backing up right now it looks dry and then that area that she said was was dripping could have been from from uh, another time because I swear we were out here maybe a few weeks ago uh, dealing with that and I forgot to come back with the cap right now I'll, I'll check I might have one on, on my van right now and uh, I'll put that on but like the water leak is not really an issue it's for the most part dry usually there'd be a puddle or you would see it dripping down and it's not right now so that might be old water and that might have, they might have had a pan up there to catch water from last time and they just never take it down Watch your head on the power line. Got a duck on here, that's so stupid. All right, so what I'm gonna do for them, fuck, I forgot the cap. I have to go back again. Um, there is a lot of dust that came off the uh, evaporator and uh, it's just collected. So I'm gonna make sure that we clear that out for them. Dust that we can. And then uh, they have maintenance coming up anyway, so as long as we're, we're draining, we're good. And uh, yeah, I didn't find anything wrong with the AC units themselves, so I'm not sure what was in Tempton. Um, we're gonna have to come out here. I'll, I'll schedule a follow-up, and we'll come out here and kind of do a tough one. I gotta get to a, to a freezer right now. Shit, the, what, the rain picked up. Fuck out of here. There's not a there's not a whole lot of water up there, so I there's not a whole lot of water, but I cleared out what I could. Uh, that should dry up, and then I'll come back when it's not raining because they said it also wasn't tempting. So somewhere it's hot, but I got to run it for a while. But I'll be back when it starts raining. Okay. Oh man. All right, so it started raining really, really hard. I think I got wet through this jacket anyway. It was raining way too hard. Um, so I explained to them that we were gonna come back when it's not raining. It picked up like really hard to where they don't need the AC right now. Everything's satisfied in there. Um, they probably called this in yesterday and we got the text this morning because uh, it's a Monday morning to come out. So this probably happened over the weekend and uh, I told her I'm gonna have to check it when, at least when it's not, I would love to check it when it's hot, but at least when it's not raining so I can be up there jumping things out, checking temp and pressure and whatever it is to, to kind of pinpoint, because I don't even know which one it is, pinpoint what AC's um, slacking and uh, see if we can uh, recommend any repairs or, or what's going on with it. But just eyeballing it real quick, I didn't see anything wrong. So I'm not even sure what it what it would be. Um, exhaust is working, everything's working. Um, I didn't have the 
cap for the uh, drain. So you do need the caps, but I'll have to put that on the list. Like I said, maintenance is coming up. We'll put it in um, on my next trip. And now I do have to go check a walk-in freezer that's been, um, I think it was at 50, the guy the guy that we, well, we sent out, our guy, I think it was a motor or, or a defrost timer or something like that. And he thought it was working, but it only dropped to like 20. So now we need to go see what, what is what is causing the, the freezer to get stuck or if they're leaving the door open, stuff like that happens all the time. Um, like I said, that door, they don't want to fix it for some reason. It needs a whole new door. Uh, it won't seal properly. The back area where these walk-ins are gets extremely hot and stuffy. That's a lot of heat that goes in there and uh, they get a lot of condensation and, and stuff like that. So let me get out of here and go to that location and uh, trying to remember, I think I turned everything or closed everything up. The last thing I want is a whole, the whole rain to come in and then have a whole puddle when I come back. So yeah, we got everything put back together. Um, they'll be fine until I get back and we'll do a follow-up. So I made it to the next call, but the, the one thing that I love about going digital, and yes, I'm gonna plug in Jobber. I know some of you are, are rolling your eyes, but I only plug it when it's relevant. So the, the cool thing with, with going digital, and yes, my choice, of a CRM is Jobber. They've, they've just added some marketing tools that we're gonna dive into, um, helping you with Google reviews and um, some campaigns and stuff like that. So they're expanding their stuff. And uh, that's the one that I can give you guys a free trial and discount if you guys wanna jump on board, if you have a small business or anything like that, it's, it's super affordable. I think it's great if I wasn't sponsored by them, I would, surely you know keep choosing them just because i like the software so much so uh link in the description if you guys want a free trial and discount um but he he had to leave i had to go to the other call that was closer to me that was on the way over here it only made sense that's the way i like to route my my calls is like what's on the way um what's the best route not to be going back and forth so he already left i'm just coming up um behind him to check on it but he said everything was good. So he came on the weekend to work on it. It probably just took a while to drop, especially cause they, like I said, the door is not working right or not closing right. And he followed up today. He said, it's working fine. So I'm gonna just verify that. But he did, I did text him. He did text me back. Uh, just go and open the, the invoice. I already invoiced it out. So I can go on, on my phone and see what he did. You know, he, he might be driving. He might be too busy to talk, but I can just go in and check in on, on different invoices. So I love going digital for that reason, uh, being able to update my prices and you know, there's internal notes, notes with the customers. Like there's a lot of cool things about it. So, um, I looked it over, it, it was a timer and, um, uh, contactor. So right now we're going to double check, make sure everything is, uh, good. And then, uh, check the temp and make sure that, uh, there's no other issues with it, but if it's working, I'm gonna leave it alone. All right, nothing much to report there. It's already at 10 degrees. She's like, yeah, it struggled a little bit after the initial repair. And then, um, you know, like overnight it started working. So they're fine with it. That'll be just one that we follow up on. We do that quite a bit for our good customers and uh it's not a big problem this is a one that's in town so it's not like it's far away or anything so yeah right now we're gonna or i'm gonna finish uh doing my truck stock getting all that squared away from calls that i had at the end of the week and on the weekend so unless something comes up an emergency it's it's a rain day um i'm gonna double check it should clear up tomorrow but just getting my parts that i needed schedule some stuff check out jobber that they do that too and uh just catch up on, on paperwork stuff like that i i i take days off but it's not genuinely a day off it is me doing other things whether that's uh more behind the scenes stuff like lately i've been doing a lot of rebranding um getting logos touched up redone a facelift for the company which in turn means new, um, you know, cards, websites, all that that I'm doing behind the scenes. 
or I'm doing paperwork because if I don't do the paperwork, if I don't submit it, you know, we don't get paid. So that falls on me. Any document type stuff, paperwork type stuff, all that is the stuff that I do on rain days, days that I take off. There's other things that I do for our uh, business. So yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, get the parts, get some paperwork done and uh, see what else comes, if anything else comes up. If not, then tomorrow, we just start right back up on uh, maintenance, steady income, get that done um, right before summer hits because summer is always crazy, uh, especially down here in Texas. So hopefully uh, you got something out of it. Hopefully it helped a little bit. Um, just trying to record more and get some videos out and uh, you know, see what happens. See what comes up on these just regular day job uh calls and, and jobs that we get so if you guys enjoyed the video um you know remember to like comment subscribe all that good stuff appreciate you guys for being here showing up and showing out and i'll see you guys